welcome to another installment of As It Is It with me, Alicia. On today's video, we're going to talk about one of the most common causes of STDs, the herpes simplex virus or HSV. The herpes simplex virus is an infection that causes herpes. Herpes can appear in various parts of the body, most commonly on the genitals or mouth. There are two types of herpes simplex virus. HSV-1, also known as oral herpes, can cause cold sores and fever blister around the mouth and on the face. And HSV-2, generally responsible for genital herpes outbreaks. The herpes simplex virus is a contagious virus that can be passed from person to person through direct contact. Children will often contract HSV-1 from early contact with an infected adult. They then carry the virus for, with them for the rest of their life. Infection with HSV-1 can happen from general interactions such as eating from the same utensils, sharing lip balm, or kissing. The virus spreads more quickly when an infected person is experiencing an outbreak. Additionally, it is possible to get genital herpes from HSV-1 if the individual has had cold sores and performed sexual activities during that time. HSV-2 is contracted through forms of sexual contact with a person who has HSV-2. It is estimated that around 20% of sexually active adults within the United States have been infected with HSV-2. While HSV-2 infections are spread by coming into contact with a herpes sore, most people get HSV-1 from an infected person who is asymptomatic or does not have sores. Keep in mind that anyone can be infected with HSV, regardless of age. Your risk is determined almost entirely based on exposure to the infection. In cases of sexually transmitted HSV, people are more at risk when they participate in risky sexual behavior without the use of protection. Other risk factors for HSV2 include having multiple sex partner, being female, having another sexually transmitted infection or STI, and having a weakened immune system. If a mother is having an outbreak of genital herpes at the same time of childbirth, it can expose the baby to both types of HSV and may put them at risk for serious complication. It is important to understand that although someone may not have visible sores or symptoms, they may still be infected by the virus and may transmit the virus to others. Some of the symptoms associated with this virus include blistering sores in the mouth or on the genitals, pain during urination, or genital herpes and itching. Additionally, you may experience many symptoms that are similar to the flu. These symptoms can include fever, swollen lymph nodes, headache, tiredness, and lack of appetite. HSV can also spread to the eyes, causing a condition called herpes keratitis. This can cause symptoms such as a eye pain, discharge, and a gritty feeling in the eye. Prevention is primary. Take precautionary measures to avoid becoming infected or to prevent spending HSV to another person. If you are experiencing an outbreak, try to avoid direct physical contact with other people. Do not share any items that can pass the virus around, such as cups, towels, silverware, clothing, makeup, or lip balm. During an outbreak, infected individuals should not participate in oral sex, kissing, or any other type of sexual activity. If the individual is not experiencing symptoms but has previously been diagnosed with the virus, a condom should be used during intercourse. Although a condom may be used, it may still be possible to pass herpes to your partner from uncovered skin. Women who are pregnant and infected may have to take medicine to prevent the virus from infecting their unborn babies. It is generally believed that, at present, there is no way to completely eradicate the HSV from our system. The virus will remain dormant in the body and can reappear at any time. Conventional medical treatments only focus on getting rid of the sores and limiting outbreaks although there are some side effects associated with them as well. However, there are some holistic homeopathic treatments that are known to be quite effective in suppressing the virus and reduce the likelihood of transmission to partners. What's more, they do not carry the same side effects and economical costs associated with taking antiviral medication on a daily basis. So 
So never lose hope. It's not the end of the world. Well, that's all the time we have for today. Thank you for joining us on our continued discussion on sexually transmitted diseases. Please visit stdzip.com for more info and articles on herpes and other STDs. Don't forget to leave a comment, rate my video, and hit that subscribe button. This is Alicia signing off. Ciao!